back with another video so this video I want to talk about my daily journal interview I am on the local newspaper in my hometown and I'm just so blessed to be you know at a you know to be you know at a you know article like I've done this before but this is this is pretty important to me this is even more so important to me now because you know I'm pushing a, a brand I'm pushing you know something that's going to resonate with me for the rest of my life and that's young with a purpose because you know even though you know even though my first book you know I mean it did pretty well you know I you know even though my first book it was for what it was it was a pretty good book you know, this book, I feel like this book represents me more because, you know, I learned more about poetry. I learned more about myself. I learned more about life. You know, I was only uh, high school when I book. You know, I was, you know, in, you know, high school when I was writing a book. And now this book I was writing while I was in college. So a lot has changed all the time. You know, I made new friends. I've, you know, I've, I've you know been more vocal about my struggles you know I feel like I had to be a super Christian with my last book with this book you know I could be vulnerable I could talk about my struggles and and just talk about you know what it, what it, what it's like to be young and have dreams and ambitions but you face but you face with so many obstacles in life you know you you have a God dream it's not just about having dreams about having that God dream when you want to do something that seems so impossible and unnatural that people, you know, look at you crazy. They look at you like you lost your mind. Like this, that's what this um, book is all about, you know. And as somebody who's, you know, still trying to push this book, who's still trying to push this message, I, I've i realized that so many people are ministered by, you know, just me being young and, and, and me being, you know, a Christian. You know, so many people are just so, you know, just blessed by that because, you know, all the times when you people see, think of people my age, they think of, you know, alcohol and, you know, and, you know, you know, drinking and stuff like that and, and turning up and, and doing all this crazy stuff, you know, they look at me, it's like, you're, you're the exception to the rule, you know, you don't have time to, you know, party or do any, or do drugs or anything like that. So, yeah, this book. I'm just really happy about it. I'm really blessed that, um, you know, um, uh, my, um, uh, the journalist who interviewed me had, you know, took the time for from a day to interview me. Like I'm just so humbled by that because not everybody is willing to do that. You know, I mean, because they think, oh, a young author, you know, like you know, have you seen one of those? I mean, I know some. I mean, I live in a small town, so it's a little bit easier. But I know if you live in a bigger city. It might be hard to get an interview by somebody because it has so many emails. But I'm just so blessed that, you know, I was able to get an interview and it was able to be published, you know, online and, and on print. So if you are in my area, you get the Daily Journal article. But if you're not, you know, you can just go online, just type in the Richmond Daily Journal and you'll and just type in Mary Walker and you'll probably see, you know, and you'll see the interview I did with um, Miss Hagar. So let me just go down right quick. Yeah, I'm on an October 30th edition. So this is day four Halloween. So yeah, this this is it right here. So again, find me on Richmond County Daily Journal. You go, you go just type in the Facebook page. Um, but you know, or you just have it on the website, the Daily Journal, Richmond Daily Journal dot com. But anyway, this is Mario sign off.